Beloved, we are here today, gathered together today to, to witness how beloved the church is by Jesus and how, how when, when we know we're beloved of God and been put into the family of God, we love our brothers and sisters in Christ in our local assemblies. And that's really the heart of what we're getting at today in 1 Thessalonians uh, chapter 2, verses 17 to 20. And in these verses, here's what it says. But since we were torn away from you, brothers, for a short time, in person, not in heart, we endeavored more eagerly and with great desire to see you face to face, because we wanted to come to you, I, Paul, again and again, but Satan hindered us. For what is our hope or joy or crown of boasting before our Lord Jesus at his coming? Is it not you? For you are our glory and joy. What tender words, what beautiful words. And this really, I mean, this really encapsulates what we've seen already in 1 Thessalonians, how those beloved of God become beloved of one another as they await the return of Christ. And that waiting for Christ is active as we actively serve his purposes, turn from idols and serve the living and true God and wait for Christ to return. So we're going to be looking at this passage in greater depth um, as a church coming up. But let me just point this out. It says we were torn away from you. That's the idea of, of a child being torn away from their parents. It's even the idea of uh, childless parents where a child has died. And this is, it's a, it's a ripping of their very heart. And you'll notice what he says. It was for a short time in person, not in heart. And what you see here is how, how God connects the hearts of his children in his family. That Christ connects the hearts of his children in local assemblies such that they long for one another and love one another intensely and deeply. And that's a beautiful thing. Something that God brings about. And I hope that you are experiencing that today. A deep, deep love for Jesus and a deep, deep love for your brothers and sisters in your local assembly. That you would know that you're loved by God and that because of that, because of God's good grace in Christ, where he saves us by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone, his finished work on the cross, in our place at the cross, where he died for our sins, and was buried and rose from the dead on the third day, and you put your trust in Christ, you trust your soul to Jesus, and you know you're loved by him. We love because he first loved us. And knowing that you're beloved, then you love your brothers and sisters in Christ. And you're able to say with Paul, you know, we, we wanted to see you. We wanted to be with you. And then when you're together, what do you do? Worship God, read the word, pray together, have true biblical fellowship where you share of your lives and share of the resources that God has given you, and then go out into the world to preach the gospel of the grace of God in Christ to everyone that you meet. All right, God bless you. Hope you have a good day.